So we're going to dive deeply uh, into your past, uh, you coming to Dallas. Uh, so tell me about something that happened in your life that later shaped your later life. Well, as I was growing up, said I was running in and running out, you know, going to juvenile home, boys' home, running off from my mama. And I thought I was doing something slick, but I wasn't. I'm going to tell you, I ain't scared to tell my age. I was born in 1941. All right. Hey, man. So you saw a lot. What was, what was racism like when you were growing up? Oh, man, I still had to go through the back door like my mama and them did. When I was caddy, I still had to go through the back door, the caddy. Huh? Oh. Yeah, so just tell me about that. When you were a caddy, a golf caddy? Yeah. Okay. And I used to caddy over there. And when we caddied, they used to tell me to come in. You know, when we had to pick our food out of the back behind the golf course in the kitchen where they takes out all the trash. So... At 13, when I was coming up, we, you know, my mom and my mom had six kids. It was four girls, two boys. And she had to let one of the girls go, let my auntie take one because it was hard on her. She couldn't take care of all of us. So I said, well, I told her, I said, well, mom, since you can't do that, I said, well, won't you send me off? to a boy's home. And she told me, no, you ain't going nowhere because you old enough to help us to get a job. And so I started throwing paper. And then after the time for us to get our check, well, I take the money and I go blow it on something else and never did kill my own with the money. And I tell my mom, I said, well, somebody jumped on me, stole the money. And that was that. Okay. Okay. 